Hi, you're looking at Zelda Classic, a custom Zelda Quest game and editor, open source. I'm Obake-san's Ghost, and this is part 19 of my quest, Link's Decision to Kronos, The Tears of Fate. Uh, eight hours in, and this is going really fast compared to past games. Um, and, of course, I know what's ahead in the game, but uh, everything is on the online walkthrough, so... Uh, not really much of an issue there. We ended up at the last part of level 5. So, we're going to whistle our way out of here and collect some rupees. I think this is a good spot that we can whistle. Some parts of the mountain are no good. Uh, the whistle just won't summon anything. And we're definitely going to need to switch back to Boomerang for the coin cave. At least any uh, far uh, level into the coin cave. And we need a whole... Well, it won't take long in the coin cave, but... A super bomb costs, I think, like 380. So it won't be too long. And of course, these guys are deliberately easy at the start. Not the thing to drop rupees for us, and apparently the occasional fairy. But no big deal. Here's another group of uh, yeah. red levers and blue tech bikes. They generally have lots of stuff to drop. I don't think I previously got the thing that's down this way. Oh, I guess there was a purple rupee underneath uh, where I was standing. So that was uh, 50 rupees right there. But that is not the prize I'm looking for. 200. So that is more than enough for my purposes. But, uh, let's see how the rest of this cave goes. Gonna work my way out, not deeper into the cave. We can come back for that money when we're looking for the uh, eh, looking for the uh, silver or sorry, gold arrows. They are a necessary item. The last version of Goma requires that one. Okay. Hoping to get as many hearts back out of this as possible. So, exiting with plenty of hearts and money. So, that uh, was a pretty easy run, and I'm just gonna work my way out of here. going off to the town. We won't be needing our whistle anytime soon. First, we've got the bomb shop here, but that is not the only thing, uh, because this is where we're supposed to be headed anyways. So got our one super bomb 
its use will become apparent later. And we have a dock. So this is just going to be a long ride out to the ocean. Um, so this quest uses Zelda Classic version 2.10, I've mentioned plenty of times, it was replaced over a decade ago. Um, so yeah, the, the quest is really old and it was lost in a computer failure found last year. Um, so I probably have lost insight into a lot of uh, the choices that were made for this quest. Um, I had some binders with all the stuff on paper, so yeah. um, technically I know it's all in the game, it's not uh, something you know that was wrong with the game or didn't match. The only exception to that being um, the fifth secret. That wasn't part of the original game. But other than that, it's all there, just not always sure why. Um, but yeah, the game was finished together from those papers. I don't even have the original files that uh, those got printed to. Um, yeah, I've just been working off of those, and did manage to, you know, finish the game, obviously, but it was pretty difficult. I mean, I hadn't played or uh, done anything with Zelda Classic, yeah, let's just say played in such a long time, let alone, um, made any quests, so, uh, I... I really wasn't sure what all of the options were, I just knew that there were a lot, and, you know, if upgrading to the newer system is kind of like, well, why not make changes to it? And, uh, without making changes, it might seem kind of weird to not have any of these options, so I had to keep it with, uh, the original 2.10. It was kind of a challenge to finish the game in 2.10. Um, and before we get out of here, I'm gonna say that this is the Zora theme from Ocarina of Time. Uh, and we are going to go to the past. So this is Frozen Land, I don't know what you want to call it. But, uh, we have the ice, that's really just a slow walk, that's not, um, actually the ice. There's no ice tile in the original Zelda. Uh, some newer version added it, but, uh, without, you know, making big changes to the quest, it seems kind of a waste to do it a version that kind of promises more. Uh, also, I wasn't too interested in learning all of the intricacies of the new versions to uh, make something uh, with the new versions. Uh, this is really uh, finishing the quest and that's it. Uh, I had originally just planned on bringing it to a playable state. Uh, this is uh, past that, I'm sure, but I don't have any intent on making any more Zelda quests or anything like that. Um, and similarly, I don't have any intent to make any more Let's Plays either. Uh, while we're here, though, I do recall we have something at one of these areas. Up. Yep, this is the one. My master is using it, and you can have this. 
I hope my boss doesn't notice I took this just because he wasn't looking. I think I'm gonna overlook embezzlement since I got my cut out of the deal. Um, there were a couple of things that weren't done yet in the game entirely. Uh, level 7, there was nothing put together for that yet. Um, the last three secrets weren't uh, designed yet either. The overworld lacked a lot of detailing and uh, stuff like that, especially, so, I mean, there was a lot to do, but I'm just not going to try upgrading it or anything. Um, that said, I do plan on going back to... Um, Uh, Link's Decision 1, sorry. Um, and just uh, fixing a bunch of bugs in it. I'm not going to really bug test it, but it, I'll at least fix the things there. Uh, we want to keep going left, not up yet. Oh, and outside in the uh, ice overworld was Mega Man X the Chill Penguin stage theme. Um, that was just the ice boss in the uh, first Mega Man X game. And the song here is Troffenstoff's Room from Donkey Kong 64. I don't particularly remember what the uh, that is. Um, but yeah, that's the music for these places. Should have mentioned the outside music a bit earlier. Um, so yeah, the Link's Decision 1 will get fixed. And gotta be careful still around these light lights, but not for very much longer, fortunately. We are off to find another few keys. Uh, well, actually, we haven't even gotten one yet. There's three out here, so how's that? Um, and this ice is definitely making it difficult to outrun things and difficult to uh, dodge these fireballs. But at least I've got plenty of health, and I'm gonna just defer to Din's fire for these guys. Why be a wizard if you can't use magic? You know, other than rinse wind. And here we have a block puzzle. Definitely not going to work. Alright, let's try this one again. Uh, what else can we do? So, we got that. Um, pushing this forward isn't going to do anything. This isn't going to work out either. Uh, I knew that at some point one would finally pose a problem for me. Took long enough. So let's see, what else can I do? See. 
I think I got it. Aha, good, okay. Now I can finally start talking again every once in a while because trying to get through a puzzle like that is a bit difficult while talking. But at least these guys are easy to kill. Now we have to go back through that puzzle, but it should be considerably easier going back. Because, um, yeah, that was a difficult one. And we still have down here to go. Uh, we can kill a significant number of them at once. Item, but a passageway. Yeah. Heart container piece. So that's the only item that is hidden in the dungeon since it's uh, part one of level six. And we have another block puzzle. So let's see. This one's considerably easier. But another room of new enemies and um, fireballs to dodge from statues. I mean, they only take a couple of hits with a sword, but it's still kind of difficult to turn that quickly. So, I can get back through here. Uh, uh, yeah, there we go. And we can work our way back towards that um, passageway that led us here, but we don't... that's not... Uh, our final stop here. Fortunately, the bubbles mean that the enemies don't respawn. There's a few enemies that still respawn, but not many. Uh, those would be the fire tribbles and um, the blue dark nuts. spikes. That can be a problem for me, but I can walk on them temporarily. It just cost me magic. But a large magic jar, that fills up the um, reserve completely, so we can get out of here with our three keys and go off to the first part of the dungeon again. Uh, yeah. There's the other guys that always respawn. So we need to go north from here. Well, not entirely need to. We could go around the other way too, but this is the short way to go can't get across there, the slow tiles will make me definitely get hit by those spikes. Eh, these guys are going pretty easily. Uh, straight to the west. Give us money. Come on, thing that gives me money. Uh, no, let's go west. Those things are gonna respawn. Now I'm gonna have to kill them to open the door again. Alright. Keys. 
so that gives us our fourth key. Now we can go back to the start. We are missing the map and compass still, so um, we can hit those up on the way back. And we can ignore these guys. For a room filled with death, that's a, this is pretty easy. Relaxing room. And it's just the map, so not uh, too exciting. But like I said, we've got all the keys we need, and the only thing left now is the compass. Okay, that was kind of random. Dark nuts, easy enough to take care of, and good for health since uh, they don't really have um, a chance against this sword. And as if we needed to know where the boss is, it's the one area we have not been. way back down. And of course, collect whatever money we can along the way. I'm gonna ignore the like likes. I mean, they won't have to worry me for long, but I've got a little bit more to go. A whole bunch of these beanies. shouldn't be in anything in any of these levels, but I'm just going to kill everything. I was kind of expecting some health back from those four bats. Oh well. Or not health, uh, magic. More spikes, more life likes. I guess I take it back. There really is no reason I need to worry about losing my shield here. But I'm not here. So, north we go to the boss and fire-breathing Gliok. Um, fortunately, I took care of one of these before, and I've got the ability to throw my sword, although I think it's just one more hit now anyways. The one-headed one is not that difficult. We have the mirror shield, which reflects Wizrobe magic, and can't get eaten by like likes. Um, and I am going to stop that right here, so thanks for watching.